No, I, I, no specifics here. It just says the alert went out about 8.30. Um, no specifics. The authorities say the collapse took place within one of two rail tunnels under that Curex site containing contaminated materials. One tunnel is about 360 feet long, the other about 1,700 feet long. The partial collapse took place in an area where the two tunnels joined together. According to DOE, okay. uh, uh, yeah, the soil, okay, the soil subsided in an area that spans 20 feet by 20 feet. The discovery was made during routine surveillance of the area. So what does that mean? No well, workers were inside. Obviously nobody happened. was in there and experienced the actual collapse. Right. So somebody noticed a depression in the soil and once they checked the monitors, then they realized that they got a problem. I'm sure that that uh, tunnel is heavily monitored, yeah. and uh, so they were able to get uh, some kind of visual confirmation on what had happened. Yeah. So it says no radiation has been detected, so it's, it's, it's possible that the, a collapse within that tunnel, um, it, it could have been without problem, without any problems. Well, yes, that's, that's absolutely true. Uh, and remember, there is eight feet of soil over the top of it. So... Mm -hmm. In that regard, you have a good protective barrier, but it's not a permanent barrier. So they're going to have to figure out whether or not, as that soil subsides, that any of the materials inside will be exposed. And that's what's going to take a long time. I, you know, I really just have been racking my brain to figure out how they're going to handle this. And I don't, I can't figure out for the life of me what they're going to do. Unless, as I said, they put a protective lid over the top of it. They decommission the tunnel and everything that's in there stays in there and they never go in there again. But right. that's short of that, I really don't know how they're going to clean this up. You know, uh, Susanna Frey has been covering issues with Hanford for several years now. Uh, it is, yes? Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, th this is just sobering, Gary. When you think about uh, the fact that it's the nation's most contaminated nuclear site, cleanup's expected to last several decades more. It contains 56 million gallons of radioactive waste and has 177 underground tanks. Yes. How will it ever be cleaned up? It ain't. A lot of people asking that question, Joyce. And they're working on the vitrification plant, which will turn that radioactivity into glass at some point. Uh, it's not done. It's not ready. They've been working on it for years and years. It's billions of dollars or millions of dollars over budget. It's way late, yes. and they still don't know if it'll work. Wow. So this is this process is a race against time because you're trying to build something that can handle the waste that is being held in tanks that are way past their date of expiration, and they are holding some of the hottest, most corrosive materials. Known to man. Wow. And then, so this this is a big race to try and get that before those things start completely leaking and get into the groundwater into the Columbia River. And then let's just talk for a moment, and we could never do them justice, of the all the people, the nine thousand people who work in Hanford. Yeah. I mean, think of the people who I mean who are hoping, who are being told that they're they are going to work safe every day because they have the protective gear, that the site is safe, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but you've covered stories, and so has Susanna, where that has turned out for many um, to not be the case, but for most, the assumption is that they are perfectly safe. But, I mean, that's a contaminated site, no doubt about it. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very dangerous place to work. And, I, you know, as, as all of the reporting that we've done over the years, we've always tried to report about the people who work there and how dedicated they are to this. Um, how they knowingly go to work every day, knowing that they face incredible danger there. And the managers there have done what they can. They're trying. Um, there are just, this is just a very hard situation to manage there. They have just so many problems. They've had so many exposures of people to gases. To Remember, there's all these other incredibly dangerous gases and materials that people are exposed to out there and they'll right. get sick and it's if you guys are new to trumpet news channel here on youtube make sure you subscribe because this is a normal thing that we have